Each year, more than four billion tons of trash goes into landfills around the world. Every American throws away over four pounds of waste each day. In spite of increased recycling, municipalities spend millions to send trash to thousands of acres of landfills. But at Zijen in Massachusetts, they found treasure in that trash. The energy potential of waste is extraordinary. Uh, they're coming in here every day. Trucks roll every day uh, at this facility and, and elsewhere. Uh, and it is technically possible without landfilling and without incineration to recover the energy content uh, from this material and then to use it to displace fossil fuels. Trash can be turned into energy through gasification, a process that makes a clean fuel from municipal solid waste or biomass materials like wood and other organic byproducts. We're not talking about burning at all. It's not incineration, it's not combustion. Gasification is very different. In gasification, we take the biomass and we go through a thermochemical process that actually converts that material into a synthetic gas. And then that synthetic gas or syngas can be used for a wide range of products. Or to run a turbine to generate electricity. One of our facilities represents the opportunity to provide electricity to 20 or 30,000 homes. It's not just trash. Almost any organic substance can be used for biomass gasification. Materials like switchgrass, corn cobs and stalks, and abundant renewable wood byproducts. What we're using today is uh, standard wood chips from the southern part of the United States. In Pennsylvania, Westinghouse Plasma does biomass gasification using a plasma torch. Plasma is an electrically charged gas, like a lightning bolt, that's close to the temperature of the sun. The intense heat generated by the torch can break down almost any feedstock into syngas. Plasma gasification is a way of taking a low value feed material, superheating it with our proprietary uh, plasma torch design and creating a high quality syngas that can be used like natural gas to power gas turbine, produce ethanol for other fuel sources. We consider our technology to be green because we're using fuels that are renewable, biomass, municipal waste, things that are generated on a daily basis. Biomass plants can be located wherever the biomass materials are readily available, next to municipal solid waste landfills, next to pulp and paper mills, next to large corn fields, where you can use the corn stalks and the cobs as a feed to the biomass plants, just about anywhere. This is what's left over after you recycle plastic. And there's no home for this except for a landfill. We can use this in a gas fire without any trouble. There are a lot of small biomass gasification plants that have been in service for many years. And gasification has proven to be a cost-effective and reliable technology. I think the potential for biomass gasification in the United States over the next 15 or 20 years is, is enormous just taking biomass and gasifying it into electricity. It would be one of the largest utilities in the United States. Biomass gasification is just a great way to take waste products that are piling up around the country and make an energy solution that we can use every day. Electricity, gasoline, chemicals that we use in our daily lives, we're taking a waste product and turning it into an energy solution, and a green one at that. To learn more about how biomass and waste gasification will be a critical part of our renewable energy future, visit gasification.org.